What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It is I, your wheelman, Alex Cordina, and we're here with a B-class Honda Civic Towley 420 build. My boy brought this one over. He's like, Alex, I've got another Honda. It's really good. It may be not as good as the Porsche, but it's I love it. You need to put it on the channel. I've spent more time on it. I'm like, okay, let's let's give it a look. So the other day we were racing this. We had two of these. We had two of the other newer B-Class Civics. So we had, it was just VTEC power the entire time. It was a lot of fun. Uh, this car is good. It is on par with the Porsche. It's on par with the other Honda Civic, the newer one that I've got in B-Class. Uh, like I said yesterday, we're fleshing out the B-Class. We're adding lots of cars to that. This is another one. I will say that it handles a little different. It takes a little bit of more finesse to make it go fast, but it is really, really good. So, I mean, that's that's all I bring you on this channel. I'm not going to bring you a bunch of BS builds. I'm not going to say that this is the you know the final answer or anything because we're always innovating. We're always coming up with new cars. And so I want you to see that uh, this is another good one and we're having a lot of fun with it. So let me uh, just go in, dive in, show you what motor, show you what parts we're playing with and uh, see what we can do. So for that, the engine we are using is the 2.4 liter inline six. 151 brake horsepower. Uh, it's in the basic class. Uh, there's a lot of motors to choose from. I've not brewed on this car at all. Tally said, this is what we're doing. This is the build. I said, okay, dude, let's put it together. So from that, you go in, you get to do elite induction. You get to do basic ECU, save yourself some money. Basic fuel system, save yourself some money. For the exhaust, you put on the super exhaust. You're going to put on the super roots supercharger so that's the gold one super roots from there uh, we are doing basic bottle on the nos so just sport nos we are doing elite road suspension we are doing sport brakes we had some points to play with so we run the sport brakes we are doing elite grip tires as we do on the channel these grip builds are where it's going uh, it's really really important to run those for the clutch you're running the elite clutch this thing shifts really well it accelerates really well for that reason with that clutch in there. Oops, excuse me. For the transmission, you are running the four-speed transmission. So sport four-speed, make sure you put that in there. It's uh, an A-plus car if you do the sport, so just keep that in mind. That's why this car keeps up so good. It's got a little high or lower top speed, but in doing so, it, it makes it slam in this class. We are running the elite differential. You can't get away with anything else. you got to run the elite so that way you can run it full grip. Auxiliary, as always, up to you guys. On this one, I'm running near miss and nitrous grip. For your handling, running the slider all the way 100% grip. Steering sensitivity, two clicks to the right. Downforce all the way high. You need to run the downforce on the high side of things. There's a couple places in there you can play with it. So, you know, the first two clicks are 159 or first three clicks. Then there's a 160 in there. Then all the way high is back to 159. So just make sure that when you play with that it ends up at the 159 level traction control off drift entry off um Towley runs this he's playing with manual so he is manually shifting this car and shifting with uh the bumpers i'm not driving manual yet i'm not a huge fan of it uh if they allow me to change the bu button mapping so i can use b and x um i'll probably start doing that but for now i haven't um but all that being said if you want to increase your racing potential, get better launches, manual's pretty much where it's at. Like that's the new meta for driving fast. And I believe I'll probably end up releasing a video on that in the coming week once I've really mastered it and I can say, hey, here's the difference, here's where it's at. So a little teaser for that. Uh, but for you right now, go work on learning how to drive a manual transmission. You will, you will not regret it. Your end all stats with this car is a top speed of 130, which is perfect for B-Class. 0 to 60, 3.6, 289 horsepower, 278 max uh, feet of torque, and then 11 9 quarter mile. The stats out of the box don't appear to be anything crazy, but this car is on par with the other Honda uh, Type R hatchback. So they are like right matched there. So keep that in mind. Try it out. It's good. This is a cheap build. Uh, you can get into this B class car for not too much money. So if you're balling on a budget, this one slaps. So that is the Honda Type R year 2000 the civic it's a good car looks really slick um i always wanted one of these when i was younger i mean everybody watched the first fast and the furious is like i want a black honda civic so this is this is where it's at i am alex cornut your wheel man thank you so much for coming and hanging out 
like, subscribe, follow. If you made it this far in the video, big shout out to you because most people only watch for about 30% of the video. They skip forward, get the tune, click out. So uh, thank you so much for coming and watching and hanging out. I greatly appreciate you. Big shout out to my boy Tally420. I'm going to link his info down below. He is the, the mastermind behind this build and it's, it's pretty fun. We enjoy it. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.